Hello, good evening, and welcome to Stone Monkey Radio. Carefully, I uh, uh, ask the audience, please, to not turn on the gas rings, please. Hey, Duke Pinky, how are you doing? My goodness, uh, there will be a Becky along shortly. She's performing very important actions. Important actions. Mm. Hello, there, Daria Morgan. How are you doing? It's going on with my hair. I checked it before I started and then it betrayed me! How are you? I hope you're good. I'm confused. I've got too many windows open. Ah, uh, how am I? Ah, sleepy. It's been a very tiring week. Um, didn't really rest on Sunday. Um, because I ended up editing an extra accessibility. And then Monday is the night I usually edit accessibility. And then Tuesday we edited, um, we, uh, we recorded Polyamory. Uh, uh, Polyamory. Queer and Pleasant Strangers. And then Wednesday night I edited Queer and Pleasant Strangers and a, an episode of Polyamory. And I put up the Skitty Zone. And now it's Thursday and I'm exhausted. <laughs> anyway, how are you? I'm so tired. Hey, Caladry, how are you doing? Hello, that Daria Morgan. Hi, Echo. Oh, Echo. Yeah, Echo. We're here. We're all here. Oh, my God. How is everyone? How is that sweet new Xbox that you've got there, Echo? How's that doing? Also, um, ah, yay. We get a little dancing kitty for Caladry. Thank you, Caladry. Thank you for the subscription. I do a big old appreciation. I've had a busy one. And um, that's generally how my weeks go, except without the Sunday bit. I do this uh, on, on, on the Thursday nights. Uh, Friday nights, I usually try and do some music. Oh my god, we can become famous! We can buy followers, everyone! Bigfollows.com oh, That person... Hell, I was hiding out and refreshing a link constantly, but I'm going to come back for this. <laughs> a bunch of them said it was worth it. Right? We, we can... oh. Imagine it. We, we we could have all the people. All the people. We could have... Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, I just banned them. <laughs> big money, big follows. I love it. <laughs> Is that Smash TV? I feel like that's Smash TV. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Well-known letter, letter, bunch of numbers. Well-known for their opinions. <laughs> They do have so many of them. Big money, big prizes. Toasters, well, toasters, toasters. You will be unsurprised to know. Were you beaten by bots? I was bottomed. That's the, some bottom The entire luck. website got bottom-necked. Oh, hecko, it's an echo. It is. Oh, hecky, it becky. So anyway, I am, I am still not the proud owner of the PlayStation 5. Oh, dear. Tell them I am sorry to hear this, and that I hope they manage to get one soon. <sighs> so is that you done now? Are you back now? Is this it? Is this you here I'm now? Back. Once again. Once again. With the ill behaviour. Hi, thousand young. Hello. I'm not sure why people come back here. We keep being terrible. We do keep being terrible, and we're about to assault their ears. And I don't just mean with the, my music that I was playing at the beginning before the stream properly started. Duke Pinky does not know any consolage. That's fine, you don't have to. I, uh, do I own a console? I own a Wii, and I guess I own a Switch. Guess who's back? Back again. It's, it's Becky, right? Is it Becky? I hope it's Becky. Hello, it's friend. You vastly overstate my social circle. Everyone I know already knows where I am. At <clears> home. <throat> Where everybody should be right now. Anyway, should we play some game? I think we should play some game. I have got 77 pages worth of reasons to play this game. You've only got 33 pa pages to read. <laughs> and some of them are fake, so don't worry about it. Oh, that is the wrong window. Ah. 
Ooh. My music was amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <gasps> Are you absolutely fucking sure this will erase all of your previous games? Oh my god, all of them? All of them. Every single one of them. Babe, babe. It's got... It's in all caps. All caps. It's shouting at me. What I'm probably going to do is load the game and then get through the intro and then I'm going to close the game go into the options menu, turn off the music. <laughs> oh, thank you, Daria. Thank you so much for the subscription, Daria. Thank you for those good, good Bezos bucks. They're the best bucks. They're all the best bucks. Just, like, ruining Bezos. <laughs> it's giant. Ah, oh. uh, these used to be the height of fucking graphics. Oh my look. god, look at that lava. It moves. Yeah. Look at all that dithering. Wow, you can... there are layers. So many layers! At least two! I was so impressed with this. Fun fact, when I was stuck at a four and a half hour layover in Athens once, I drew this. From... For something to do. <laughs> I forgot to tell the really weird fact earlier. I will, we'll, we'll get through the intro, and then I'll start telling facts. I'll start spitting facts at you. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins celebrated his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, it was the talk of the Shire. After the birthday feast came Bilbo's speech. Most of the company were prepared to listen to anything and cheer at every full stop. I've called you here. I've called you all together for a purpose. Bilbo said. Indeed, for three purposes. First, uh, no, I'm, I'm just going to read what's on the screen rather than just <laughs> reciting the entire book. <laughs> I <laughs> I got to announce that this is the end. I am going. I am leaving. No. Goodbye. Okay, bitch. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was shooketh. Look how shooketh they are. All their pipe, their, their matches have gone out. Uh, oh, have you ever been so shook that your match went out? Right. Bilbo vanished, the guests at the feast were speechless, and some were angered by the trick. It can safely be said that they did not share Bilbo's sense of humour. Only Bilbo's nep nephew, Frodo, look at that haircut! Oh, I don't think whoever did it did. <laughs> <laughs> Only Bilbo's nephew, Frodo, knew the truth years before. Bilbo had found a magic ring that could make him disappear. Bilbo used the ring to leave the Shire forever. That very same ring was part of the inheritance that Bilbo left to Frodo. A ring that Frodo ignored for several years. <laughs> Until Bilbo's friend, the wizard Gandalf, appeared in the weirdest fucking cut ever. <laughs> that transition, what the fuck? <laughs> I have searched for the answer to Bilbo's ring for many years, Gandalf explained. There is one more test. Uh, so many frames. Hold it up, said Gandalf, and look closely. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, I'll probably just lose them, you know. <laughs> what does it mean? Frodo asked, secretly dreading the answer. It means you're going on a long-ass journey. It's a long story. In Eregion, thousands of years ago, the great elven smiths made magic rings. Because they loved sticking their magic fingers in magical shit. Then the Dark Lord Sauron tricked the elves the rings gave their... A capital R, by the way. The rings gave their wearers great powers. Power to dominate and control all things that surrounded them. Well? Why is Maleficent here? Because Maleficent it will be playing the part of Sauron today. Okay. In the furnaces of Mount Doom, Sauron created the One Ring to rule them all, who wore... El uh, all, all, all who were elven rings and rule Middle-earth. There were great wars 
Hello, many deaths, and finally, elves and men united for the final battle against Sauron. Prince Isildur cut the ring from Sauron's finger and took it as a trophy. However, Isildur could not get the finger up his bottom and was slain in battle. And the ring <laughs> fell off his finger and into the great river where it long lay. Hey, St. Crimson. The ring was found by a wretched creature, Gollum, who hid deep in the caverns of the Misty Mountains. Then Bilbo met Gollum and won the ring. Wink! In a contest of riddles. <laughs> Wink! <laughs> Gollum was enraged to lose his precious. Gollum swore an oath. Baggins! Uh, wait, now I've got to do Gandalf doing the Gollum voice. <laughs> Gollum swore an oath. Baggins, we hate it forever, he shouted. <laughs> Something like that. Eventually, the Dark Lord found Gollum and learned that hobbits have the ring. He will be sending forces to take the ring from you. So I'm going to fuck off for a year. Everyone good with that? Excellent. It's going to become the unchallenged master of Middle Earth. Gandalf, you're wise and powerful. Will you not take my ring? No, I dare not. Such power would tempt me and corrupt me and dilate my arsehole. Wish I do not wish to become like the Dark Lord, constantly haunt and desiring of a firm fisting. The ring must be destroyed. <laughs> Use a pineapple. <laughs> it must be taken to Mount Doom, where it was made and cast oh, into the furnaces. Only by destroying the ring. <laughs> the foundation of Sauron's power. Once you destroy his ring, there's every he's just gone. Uh, save Middle Earth. I have one last errand to run. When I return, we will go to Rivendell, the city of the elves. If I do not return by your birthday, fuck off without me. Do it yourself. Make your way down the east road to Rivendell, except don't do that because you will immediately get jumped by Nazgul. Tell no one of your plans. Pretend that you are moving to with your relatives in Buckland. Do not go alone. Take those friends as you can trust. And do not choose the ring. <laughs> Only Frodo's friend Sam Gamgee knows Frodo's true plan. The day of Frodo's birthday arrives, and Gandalf does not come, but he's been stroking it for weeks. <laughs> A lump forms in your oh throat uh, as you say goodbye to Bag End. Sam and Pippin are next to you. They want to accompany you to Buckland to the Buckland Ferry, but your cousin Mary is waiting for you. Right. Okay. First things first. We've just got through all the text. I need to remember how to fucking save. That's not that. Uh, I can select who's leader. I can't remember what the controls are. Choose a character. I can't choose anyone right now because I haven't got anyone. Uh, yeah, nice. fuck him up. Get the knife and the haircut. And let's deal with the real problem. Um, the you have, uh, uh, you have the manual. Okay, what do you want from me? <laughs> Does it say anything about how to save? <laughs> it's got, I've got 90 pages on this document. It's 77 pages. What have you done to it? Maybe it's a font size thing. Maybe it is. Oh my god, I'm so much more used to doing this on the um, CD Enhanced version. Oh, how did that? Except now I own a PC without any fucking controls. Uh, without any um, media drives. Um, right, so first things first, I'm going to use the ring. Look, I vanished! You, you said don't use that. Ah ha ha. Now I'm slightly more corrupt than I was when we started. 
Nortington. I'm a Nortington. Right. Yo, Simon Pippin. You up for it? Let's fucking go. Come on, let's let's go. Oh gosh. Uh, do you think he said that they just realised the the circles were doors to hobbit holes? Yep. I'm glad someone told me. I thought they were just like badly done rocks. Look at these. Look at this like four directional controls. It wasn't until the CD version came along that we got eight directionals. Look at all the directions you can go in. Imagine it. Four of them. Imagine extra directions you could be going in. Yo, it's Bilbo's room. Except How it's not. How big is Bilbo's house? The wagon's pretty fucking big. Oh, Tyler's sticking up for you. Geniac fingers rings when she wants. Damn right I do. Right, uh, Pippin, do us a favour, Mush. Pick the lock on this chest. Open the chest, there's something gleaming within, waiting to be taken. Alright. Look at some silver pennies. And while he's bent over, is there any more ring talk? Uh, maybe. Wearing minds must know! Oh, I think Summer Chat's gonna have to go lie down. Yeah? Eight directions. We don't even have that many directions in reality. Imagine it. I can't. It's breaking the bounds of my mind. Smudge, no, you're not allowed on the desk. Stop it. Stop planning to jump on the desk. But, ma'am! I'm sorry, no. Right, we got a torch, which means we can see in the fucking dark now. Woo! Did you find anything about uh, any kind of uh, <clears throat> saving function? Ah. No, I've just got to the active skills, and the first thing is boats. Okay. So I now know more about boats than I did. Just do a search. <laughs> right, well, you see, someone smart might have thought of that, but I've just been reading. <laughs> ah, fuck. Let me do that trigger again. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to have to Google this. Right, okay. Let's go, briefly go back to face cam. Um, so can I've... Save this ship from destruction. If you can save this ship from destruction, that'd be great. Save for a few that hid themselves in the depths. Save the Elven Lords. Blue save for his great yellow boots. That's Tom Bombadil. Slain and save one. Save you, I will. Oh, Yoda's here. Save the quest of the ring. The, the word save comes up a lot in this book. Hmm. We, can we can save the ship from destruction again. Right, no, that is all eight instances of the word save. Welcome back, Thousand Young. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank fuck. Somebody's got... Starting movement icons. Oh, heckins, I see you, Smudge. Options, distance. Options menu. Nope. Oh, Lord, I see her. Press O for options. Okay, hang on. Uh, I need you to find paragraph number 182, see if we play. Aha! I saved. Right. Um, yeah, so I was uh, very into this as, as a small link. Um, and and m my mother... Uh, Built an office in the back in a shed in the back garden. This is why we had a PC in the house because she was tired of fucking bosses to um to to keep jobs. So she just became her own boss, and then I guess just fingered herself at lunchtime. <laughs> I ended up with lots of random um, bits of stationery, including this. This is me, age what fucking ten or something. Uh, there are huge chunks of the manual just completely copied out in here uh, with my own versions of pictures of the characters <laughs> I did all this <laughs> Aww. I got, I got spiders 
I got a big dragon and a barrow away. <laughs> My dragon is very bad. <laughs> oh. I love him and would kill for that dragon. Mm-hmm. It's... it's like. I got a tiny golem. And I've got lots of random talking poems. And I've got a picture of Smaug sitting on their treasure. And the Arkenstone, and you can see tiny Bilbo. And here is pictures of, of all the profile pictures from this fucking game. Of characters. Oh my god, did you draw the ball cut? Uh, I didn't draw a Frodo. I got a Merry and Aragorn, a Pippin, a Gimli, a Legolas, and a Boromir. You had more taste as a tiny child than the graphic design department had sensibilities. Wait till you see the rest of the characters. Oh, you haven't seen the rest of the characters. Right. <laughs> Bang, fucking on. That's Sam Gamgee. You look embarrassed by it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess this is my alright. Uh, Pippin? Peregrine Took. Right, why do we need to know how to save? I know how to save now, I did that bit. I need you to tell me what paragraph 182 says. Okay. Um, the paragraphs don't seem to be numbered. They are definitely numbered. I'm gonna have to get the thing out. Dave, I'm pretty sure the paragraphs aren't numbered. Uh, well, they were numbered when I looked at them earlier. Oh, wait, well, no. I was just looking at page 34 when I should have been looking at page 42. Okay, well, apparently it starts wrong. I apologise. Uh, right, okay, 182, please. 182. 182. You have entered the Library of Bag End. There are many books of Hobbit lore as well as several volumes of Elven lore from Rivendell. Mm. You love the idea of... What? You Don't leave us hanging. <laughs> the idea of Lothar fingering Bilbo's beloved books. <laughs> but somehow Everyone's fingering shit today. Doubt that Lothar Pimple has the imagination or curiosity to ever look at them. Ooh, sick burn. Okay, so Lothar is not to finger between Bilbo's folds. Yep. Lothar, we loathe to have him finger the folds. Hang on, I am too hot, I need to take this hoodie off. Um, and <laughs> yes, you're correct, it was an anti-piracy measure. It lasted an amazingly long time. Like, the amount of time it takes to walk to a photocopy, you don't know. It wasn't until we got the, um... Uh, it wasn't until we got the CD-enhanced version with scenes from the animated movie... Um... That's... we... they, they put all the text in the game. The problem is that... Okay, so this game is broken as fuck. Like, they... basically they just ran out of time. And got got told just you know just work something out. Go on, you 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 can you can do a thing, right? Come on, just ship it out. The one point oh version of this is so broken. Uh, then there is the uh, they did like a one point one fix, which was fine. The one point three version, which is this one, works all right. Works all right. They fixed a lot of things. Um, and then they did the CD Enhanced version, which broke, like, a bajillion to other things. So there's still quest lines that just end nowhere because they didn't have time to finish them. And then there's quite, there's other things that just worked in earlier versions but don't work in the CD Enhanced version. Just because. And because it was a CD, no one bothered fixing it. <laughs> Those were the days. I was so excited when I saw the CD Enhanced version. I've still got the like the physical big box for that. The only big box I still have. Perceive, damn it. Perceive! Oh, read. Is it read? Uh, There's too many skills. Too many skills. Uh, paragraph 117, please. Okay. 
Also, Duke Pinky makes a good point. No matter what this is, it is still better than Geneva. Ooh, sick burn. What? Not fucking harder. A note from Bilbo says, must ask the Brandy Books about Old Forest. Old Forest? You is that in all caps? It, no, it's just got capitalizations at the first. It's proper like that. Mmm, so fancy. You put this down for a copy of something far more interesting. The Lay of the Latham. The Song of Beren and Luthien. It says Luthien danced by the shards of the river. You're just taking the piss at this point. When the world was young and some of the waters of Middle-earth still remember her. In places where elves still dwell, her memory will stir the waters to a powerful defence, even against the mightiest of foes. <sighs> you mean we can invoke the names of Beren and Luthien the Fair to make the rivers rise and rush like big horses and kill the fucking uh, Nazgul? Anyway, I found a letter from Gandalf. My dear Frodo, if I do not come... By your birthday, leave without me. I've been stroking it for weeks. Use the travelling name Underhill. Seek help at the Prancing Pony in Bree. I have friends there who will help you. Cheers, Gandalf. Cheers, buddy. Let's save before something else crashes. Still traumatised from fucking Gabriel Knight. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> you got the front door to bag end. Right. I'm gonna lock okay. my I'm gonna lock my friends in there. Okay. <laughs> I've locked them in. I don't have to get <laughs> out now. Ah oh, bastards. Duke Pinky says if I do not come by your birthday, do it harder for fuck's sake. Do it. Right. Oh, I should send you the map as well. Hang on. Oh my god, more pages. It's all right. Now I'll, I'll I'll just open the map. They said it will probably make more sense if I can see where the fuck I'm going, rather than you trying to convey it to me. I mean, we do have four directions to keep track of. Four entire directions. I've got to remember where the gaffer's hole is. <laughs> <laughs> Kel's just got home to see the glory the glory of this game is it glorious? it is oh I just got smacked in the face by Lobelia Sackville Baggins with an umbrella tennis give me the key to bag end she shouts it's time the decent folk live there give it to me now no longer should you be pumping that Gandalf yeah, she can have the fucking key. I'll give her the ring as well. She can sort that shit out. <laughs> Ours at last! She shouts, now off to Markland with you. Don't bother us again. Okay, bye. Bye. Let's oh, shit. Go. Right, okay, where are we? We just got down there. I know where they are. Um... No. There's a doggo! Oh, can you pet the dog? Oh, I can. Sh I should probably shout to the gaffer first. It's the old gaffer Gamgee! Hey, gaffer! Where are the last kids? Can't say I knew much. They know more at the inn. What news, friend? Taffy Profoot ran off the Hobbit and in in tears, poor child. Heck. Ain't no more of that than you do about that. Um, you don't know shit, do you? <laughs> Half the problem with this game is working out what you can type at what person and hope for the fucking best. I'm glad Thousand Young understands. Lobelia. Dark Witch, Tyrant of the Shire. She fucking wants to. Right. Uh, right, I think we've got to find Ned Anderson. 
and I believe they live down here. Uh, yeah, down. Oh, hello, who are you? Unnamed Hobbit. Hello, nice weather, isn't it? It's, it's lovely, friend. Have a good day. Look at that, look at that set dressing. Is that what you're calling it? Yep. This game might be low budget. Oh, it's, it's see, it's got a day-night cycle on everything. And some good body. Have you lost the dog, friend? My dog's run away, and I'm too late to catch it. Please bring him back. Tell me about dog. He was last seen in the western fields. I'd be grateful if you'd find him. <coughs> Very well. That's a good body. <coughs> I've already been doing too many voices. Woo! I'm too entertained with the she don't need no Saruman. She don't need no Saruman. Hey, doggo. Uh, Samwise? You sweet talker. Will you charisma the dog? Speaking in a low, soft tone, you persuade the dog that you are his friend. He accompanies you. Uh, the, the subplot with the dog was not anywhere in there. As soon as they leave Bag End, they're like, fuck, we need to get going. And then there's a little bit of stuff with the Nazgul, and then there's like 800 pages of trees and walking. And then they eventually get to breathe. I don't get it. They obviously have more colours in their palette. Why did... What do you mean they obviously have more colours in their palette? They can only display like 16 of them at a time. Possibly 32 if they're if they're really lucky. Handsome good buddy is pleased to see his dog again. I have an old shovel if you'd like it. Also, I heard strange news. There are men on black horses at the Butlin Bridge. And they're asking about baggins. If I was you, I'd avoid the Butlin Bridge. Well, I'd better fucking not. Hey, Jim! How do? Lord of the Ring piece, yep. Uh, I don't think anyone said Lord of the Ring piece yet. We oh have made God, a lot of fingering the ring jokes. Because we were too busy fisting and fingering and stroking. Destroying the ring, yeah. We were destroying the ring with some quality fisting. <laughs> I've got a shovel! From someone called Goodbody. Yep. They got a good. I've got a shovel from a, from a good, like good buddy. I feel like there wasn't the sensitivity reader included in this game. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure the, the good bodies exist in... Yeah, the good bodies exist in the source material. They still chose to make the I can't chase my own dog quest. They could have not. Your admiring gaze falls upon the chestnut trees of Hill Lane. Birds are singing. See, look at that set dressing. Trying, but it hurts. It's Look at all these little trees, all these little details. Ah, shit. Sinister black smoke and foul stench comes from the mill yard. Nothing like this has been seen in the Shire before. Ooh. Okay, I'll come back to that. Oh my god, someone without red heads. <laughs> well, they're not hobbits, I don't think. I think they're swarthy men. Such as you might find. Uh, all right, I don't want to get the Hobbit name. I don't want to get the Green Dragon. Why are there two pubs next to each other? Uh, where's the general uh, store? Seven. Great road kids. Are you not used to two pubs being next to each other? Why would you want two pubs next to each other? I mean, near me, there's somewhere called the Old Packers, and. Literally across the street from it is the new pack horse. <laughs> and the bus. The, until the lockdown, they were both open. New pack horse is the one that shot. 
Yeah? Yeah. Hello, Jolly! Greetings, worthy hobbits! Let me show you my wares. Oh. Oh. He doesn't know anything about his wares. <laughs> nice work, dude. <laughs> nice work, Jolly. I would like to purchase some things. Uh, three torches. See, Gary has a good point. If one pub's too crowded, you go up one next door. And like Whit Packoff says, one at pubs were for the, like, Weatherspoons crowd, and the other one was okay. Ah. It's like a quality filter thing. Do you want to right. go to the cheap place, or the place where... Where you won't get stabbed. I mean, isn't that just how Weatherspoons works, generally? I mean, if I ever want to get lecched to death, I know where to go. Weatherspoons? Hmm. Yeah, but can you imagine that on my gravestone? Dies in a Weatherspoons looking for a better toilet. Yeah. What if the wing piece? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I'll do it in my best Adam Sandler, how's that? <laughs> I have to kiss that mouth. You do. And sit on it. Oh, hey, whoa, it's time for what if the wing piece? <laughs> <laughs> I hit on the first that just did that. <laughs> See, if you were shitting, if you were sitting on my face, that would never happen. Oh, but apparently the nice titty voice is okay. Nice. These are some nice fucking titties. Right. Okay, everyone. Ah, oh, fuck! It's daytime again. I was like, I'm just gonna sneak in there. Didn't sneak in there. Didn't get it. It was daytime already. <laughs> Adam Snick's next, next, next Netflix story is going to be What are the Wings? Oh, well. I'm terrible. Gosh. I can't tell if the distances in this game are very long or it's just because you're having to left and right it. Oh, it's it's a huge fucking game. And not and not a bit of it utilised sensibly, seemingly. It's utilised exactly like Tolkien would have written it. Full of fucking trees. Well, can't argue with that. Mm-hmm. Right. Now to get over here before being... A child subbing echoes! Woo! It is, it's an open world game. Um, am I going up or not? Hey, Taffy! I'm real happy I didn't get eaten by a fucking wolf. Please make the bad doggies go away. Oh dear. I'm not moving till they all go away. Or until Freddy comes back. You can't make me. Oh, fuck. Um, Sam, talk to this child. Do it. Read paragraph 40. Read paragraph 40. Huge tracts of land. Taffy tries to smile and says she'll go with you. She Yay. says... She says her friend, Freddy Crub, fell into a cave and hurt himself. <gasps> Freddy fell? She wants you to keep the doggies away from her and her friend. I want to keep the doggies away. Uh. Shit. Well, I don't think you should help Taffy. Why do they not like dogs? Like, rude. They're not dogs. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, uh... Right, okay, I've crossed the bridge, we should be safe. Safe from what? The wolves! The bad it doggies! Says dogs. I... Why are you bringing wolves into this? She said dogs. Yeah, because she's a child. Wolves are just. dogs with extra steps. Look. <laughs> 
<laughs> the steps are being well today. The, the yes, 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 yes. Um, the weather, moon, and all that. Oh, whoa. Uh, can I break into the mill while it's still night? Oh, shit, it's that tree again. With the burbs at night. Night trip, night burbs. Night burbs, night burbs. Nope, that's the wrong building. So how many hours of your life do you reckon you spent playing this game? Thousands. I had fucking notes on this game. Uh, yeah, I like had notes about who to talk to and who had what special skills and who would give you stuff. And yet, for all of that, I didn't realise. Ah, oh, shit. So, it's daytime already. So I fucked that up. One day I'll get in there. Got to do it at night. Got to sneak in. Uh, it's not a vending machine, but it is a machine. It's a comment about industrialization. Where's Gandalf? Yeah, that's the fucking question, right? All right, but... It's supposed to be coming before someone's birthday. He's supposed to be coming before someone's birthday, but all he was doing was fucking edging. Mm. Hashtag disappoint. Hi, Tricky. Tricky. Hey, Tricky. How do? Right, can I... Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Do da, do da. Ah, there we are. That's where I'm supposed Those to be. Those jumps just caused me to put an entire new meaning behind a wizard is never late. A wizard is never late. Nor is the alley he chooses exactly when he means to. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said premature, but there we are. Well, now we know when a wizard jizzes. A jizzard, if you will. Sometimes I get in my beard. That's why it smells so funky. Nope. Faint crying. Someone's alive. A cumjurer. I am not some cumjurer of cheap <laughs> tricks. <laughs> Yes, so darling. The next season of Polyamora. I've decided my class. Is it a Cumdra? I'm not sure if that's one of the official player classes, but I'm going to make it one. I mean, we're talking about a campaign that's got a pornomancer in it, so I think you'll be alright. Swing and a miss. Oops. Taffy, fucking run away. <laughs> Leg it, girl. I'm it's glad just... everyone's missing. Well done, everyone. Good. Doing a real fucking good job. A warcock. A walk. A warcock on the nose, you say? I mean, that would make face sitting better. Uh, wood. Ha! Fuck you, spider. Doing a bad job! Everybody's missing, everyone's shit at combat. <laughs> Can you hit from there? Yeah. You that all these hobbits look like dickheads. Yes. Yes! <laughs> yes, that, that's canon law. Sorry, I'm half trying to read chit chat because I keep seeing things getting flagged up as. Inappropriate yeah, also language. Not who's like magician either? Magician. Ah, I see. I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce it. I can read it. I assume it's like magician, but with jizz. A creamier magician, if you will. Oh, uh, come genasi. Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, what kind of paragenasi is that? Like a sticky one. <laughs> One that leaves streaks if you don't clean it right away. <gasps> yeah.
Yay, we did it! Read paragraph four. Um, too horny, I'm thinking about skirts from balconies. And, and Jim being indecent. Wow. Oh. Like an in, like, like, like an in my decent. I didn't know you had any decency in here. I thought you were all smart all the time. All smart all the time. Freddy is free from the spider, but yeah. badly wounded. Oh. He's doing his the best. The, the best. The best. <laughs> Not to stop. <laughs> He's joyed to be with people who will get him home. He joins your party. Yeah. Sounds like a spider poop, to be honest. Who comes to a party trying not to cry? Freddy? Freddy Grub? Mm. Oh my god, really? Is he joining the party? He has joined the party. That was not made fucking clear, thanks. Wait, hang on. Why does Freddy get a different jumper? Because Freddy's a child. What the fuck is this? It's... Why do children get funky new colours like red? And CGA pink. <laughs> yeah, she's got blonde hair in the overworld, and then a picture is brown and hobbit dickhead standard. Uh, I think she uses the same um, model as uh, Rose, uh, uh, Rosie as well, so that's weird. Jump! Yay! With a mighty leap, you jump across the chasm and land safely on the far side. Wait, you're saying that no one went in the mystery hall? Oh god, wait, where's the fucking key then? Oh no. Jump. Oh my love. Right, hang on. Somewhere around here is a fucking corpse. Oh heck. Been a big day for Thinky today. Yeah? Six all hours at daycare. Six. Tricky it got to watch two things on Netflix in a row. And wasn't on tenterhooks the entire time. Living the parental dream. I mean, sometimes when the kids fuck off, I'll just sit there anxious. Like, they're not there to supervise, and I'm still mentally supervising them like that, and not get started on anything. <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't recommend that. <clears throat> Well, well done. I'm, I'm glad you had a successful day. Where the fuck is the thing? Maybe it's up your skirt. I'll have to have a fumble around if that's okay. Oh my god, did I just completely forget to like... Something like oh, thank fuck. Okay. Found it! I've got an axe, which is brilliant, because hobbits can't use fucking axes. Right. Once again, we jump across the hole. I'm not entirely clear on the purpose of including the hole. It's 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 so that you know to use the skill jump. This is one of those silent tutorials you've probably heard so much about. But why? Because. Ah, that old chestnut. Indeed. The elderly chested nut. Oh! 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 What? Oh. Are you thinking about being nutted on by someone elderly? No, I read what Tricky said. He had a berry that turned out to have a spider in it. Oh, berry! Berry, 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 berry. Did it say its own name? I can't remember what the answer is. Carved in stone, a mighty robed king supports the roof with one hand and wields a sword with the other. Elven script surrounds star-shaped depression. This, uh, the standing king wears a brilliant ruby in his breast. Do not I grab the breast without permission? So I don't just go grabbing the titty biscuit. Do not go grabbing the titty biscuit. Also, Duke Pinky raises a good point. A star-shaped hole. Yes, I'm going to invest the star-shaped hole. The statue stirs to a ghostly form with echoing whispers. 
Spectre solemnly intones, the shadow draws close and oaths must be unbroken. I go to wait at the appointed place. Will you bear my legacy to the king? Yeah, all right. The spirit takes the gem from its Good chest and offers it. Yeah, hey. Uh, offers the gem to you and then points to unseen treasure at its feet. Take what you need. We shall meet again at a time, place unlooked for. Then it becomes stone again. Yay, more treasure. Ghost ruby and silver pennies. Shit, I'm going to be loaded. I've got 98 silver. Stats, 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 everybody. Jim is good with being nutted on by someone elderly. Do you think it is creeping up on a birthday? So we may oh, have a Wait, someone's else someone else's birthday is coming up. Ah, uh, la la la. Fuck. Someone. Mm. Fuck. I would love to. Any monster. Any monster. Monster. I think. I believe there is a birthday approaching. I could be wrong. I could be absolutely wrong. Forty is not elderly. Don't you fucking dare. Oh no. Don't you fucking dare. I think you still have to be relatively useful until you can say 42 at least. Because at least then you will have gathered the meaning of life, the universe and everything. I am 40, yes. <laughs> I'm looking bloody good on it. HRT steals all the youth from I yep. don't know. There is a picture of me in an attic somewhere just getting progressively more haggard. I right. feel like attic Jane is probably happy. She's left alone, nobody bothers her, nobody wants anything. Just a nice, quiet space. Mm-hmm. I begin to envy attic Jane. Oh, come the fuck on. We bet, we bet, we quiet. <clears throat> oh shit. You have come to a strange metal apparatus with dials and wheels. It appears to be controlled by pushing buttons and is making evil noises. Do you press buttons? Fucking yes! Read paragraph number 82 as the music restarts for the bajillionth time. I'm saying anyone who's 30 plus and mostly alive is fine these days. Ha ha ha! Well, it's good to know I'm not fine. Yep. Okay. I'm old enough to get some gym loving. Yes! This isn't fair. Well. When you're older, I can do unwholesome things to Jim. Okay. Well, if they could send, yeah. I'm older now than I was. How about now? How about now? Now? How about now? How about now? How about now? I'm closer to 30. I'm working on it. I'm working real hard. Consistent positive push. What does 82 say? The machine starts to rattle and spit and make foul noises. The steam reminds you of Gandalf's fireworks. <sighs> the men get up with a start. <sighs> and you realise you should get away before they get you. Crawling through a window, you safely escape into the night. <sighs> there is a lot of screaming behind you, drowned out by the roar of the huge engine as something explodes. Boom. That's you dead boom. Uh, yeah, I am definitely 40. I was born way at the beginning of 1980. Which is why it's so fucking easy to tell how old I am. Because from a very young age I had someone going, In the year 2000, you'll be 20. Yes. Oh, I see. 
random fuckery, 30 plus. Becky, you've been vetted, therefore you, you've passed. You've passed the fuck test. You I, may receive fuck. I or give like fuck. fuck. Taffy's leaving the fellowship. Taffy! Uh, Taffy shouts, Daddy! Note that they spelt it Taffy with a Y a second ago, and now it's Taffy with an I. Daddy! And runs into Jolly Proudfoot's arms. Hiding a tear, Jolly hugs his daughter and offers you provisions for the long trip to Buckland. Thanks! I feel like Echo's left based purely on the fact that they got out in too many times trying to try and fight Bilbo and getting Bimbo. <laughs> Bimbo! Bimbo slaggins! I, I can fully believe that of them. Uh, many, 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 many years ago, there was a um, uh, an, a Harvard Lampoon book called Board of the Rings, where I believe Bildo is named Dildo. This is the Grange, home of the Grub family. That's all right. I've got a grub on me. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to change you for a horse. Uh, Freddy head bowed, heads, uh, uh, head bowed, skulks behind his father. Uh, his father scowls and then turns to thank you and gives you a pony. <laughs> because fuck writing anything more than that, right? I mean, you've got everything you needed. I've got a horse. I've got a horse. It's not build a pony, but I do have a horse. It's a shit horse. Why is it just traipsing along behind you? Because that's... That's what, it's a pony, it's not a horse. Shit horse. <laughs> Am I sensing horse jealousy? Right, cross the river, go south. Cool! So, uh, my brother actually keeps horses, and at one point someone was like, you're a good rider, aren't you? Yeah. Do you, do you want to take mine for a spin? And they had a pony. You have not seen a complete juxtaposition of dignity and failure. Yeah. Until you have seen someone in the full, you know, the like riding gear with like the tweed jacket and the weird mm -hmm, pants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And their little booties trailing in the mud as a horse that's full size at the top but like foot long legs puddles away beneath them. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> What do you do when someone goes, I bet you can't ride that thing? Because you've lost either way at that point. You either you either chick it out or you commit to the loss of dignity. No, you're correct. I, I, I could, but I would look a fool. A black rider glides out of the forest, mounted on a black horse, and advances towards you, his red eyes glowing balefully as he draws closer. Mate, take it off a of standby. It's bad for the environment. And a sound like a mingled song and laughter breaks the aura of evil. The rider straightens, mounts, and fades into the dark woods. You hear clear elven voices. The elves begin to sing. Gilthonio, O Elbereth, clear are thine eyes and bright thy breath. Uh, <laughs> she brushed them? <laughs> uh, the elves continue to sing as you follow them back to their camp in the woods. Remember, kids, if you meet elves in the woods, don't just follow them. <laughs> no, we've got a blonde character now. Do you want? Do you want heavenly breath of the Valar? <laughs> Try Elbereth toothpaste. Good for gums. Oh. Jim, your doctor's a dick. Yes, sounds like it. Poke that doctor with a stick. Uh, the elves tell you that they're about to fuck off. Cool. Do a bit, mate. Alright. Uh, Gildor. Yes, Savior, though elves rarely uh, give advice, ask and I shall try to help you. Uh, news. There is little good news in these dark times. In your darkest hours, may Elbreth protect thee. 
Her name will protect you in times of need. The servants of uh, the enemy fear her. Nice. Shan the Black Riders, they are servants of the enemy. In the end, you will know them better than I. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god, there's a boggling amount. That's amazing. <laughs> I can't look at that portrait. <laughs> yeah. Is it the eyebrows? That's a really tricky shit. <laughs> <laughs> the elves are known for their constipation. <laughs> that is that is some grim determination right there. Oh wait, can I can I convince them to give me something good? <clears throat> Got any Lembus, mate? Oh, fuck off then. Dario's saying I remember the 80s better than the 2000s, right? I think they're about the same for me. All of the ball at Berlin Wall, no problem. I have a strange friendly feeling that you are being watched. Is it the elves? Are the elves perving on me? Being watched? I'm being watched. <gasps> See paragraph 50? Fifty. He is a tall, handsome human dressed in brown clothes that travel worn and slightly cumbersome, though they have been recently washed. He has a rough demeanour, as though he has lived all of his life in this forest. Even though he is rather handsome, they've mentioned that twice now, someone's thirsty. It is unusual to see hobbits wandering alone in this part of the Shire, especially in such dangerous times. There are elves roaming this country. <gasps> elves far worse than elves. <gasps> All right, so. Racist. But handsome. That handsome happens. racist elves. Uh, right, okay. Um, yes. Handsome racist human. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, it's crashed. Oh, I thought you were just distracted. Um, I, I was paused listening to you read, and then it crashed, and I didn't notice. Uh, at least I've been saving. Or does that have fun from the DOS box team always seem a little bit insincere? Maybe. I want an old game. Really? Is that that that's where I saved, is it? That is where you saved. That's where I saved. Doesn't you appreciate your splash screen though? Ooh. Splashing on my screen. It's wiped clean, you know. Right. We'll get down here, we'll do the elves. 97. What happened in 97? Fuck, I was working at McDonald's. Nice. Um, possibly in Kingston, so that might have been the years um, with the uh, Hercules toys. I was four, so... Oh, God. <laughs> ah. I'd like to remind everyone in chat, everyone in chat that she pursued me. <laughs> Aggressively for Yeah, you didn't make it easy. <laughs> they made it a whole extra year. But I got to kiss your face eventually. You did, I made it one year less creepy. And then you got to kiss my face. It's a very good kissing face. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. I do. You should, you should give me the face so I can kiss it. I would give you the face. All the kissing meats. <laughs> oh no! There's a compatibility issue with Mac OS X OS 11 on the place where I get some of my sound samples from. Oh shit! Mm. 
Probably 97 is where Jim went from repressing to dissociating. Sounds about right. Yes. <gasps> right, then we read chapter 15. Uh, um, yes, that was the handsome racist man. That was the handsome ra racist man. And it's fucking crashed again, I think. It doesn't like the handsome racist man. It doesn't like the handsome racist man. Fuck, I'm going to have to find a way around this. Uh, uh, right, so I need the Elbereth spell, but I need to not get attacked by the handsome racist man. This could be fun. Uh, do we need the Elbereth spell? But it's not essential. Uh, this is less than ideal. Maybe if I go straight up. Okay. That's a shame. Hawkeye's got like this whole um, thing going on. He's got cool stuff. He's got a cool sword. And I think he's got the first half of the thing I need to make Anduril work as well. Shit. <laughs> Thousand Jun was at Yuna in ninety seven. Wow. Yuna ninety seven. Uh yeah, I I was at college for about uh three months in ninety six. And then I had a suicide attempt, and I had to not do that anymore. I'm glad you didn't do that anymore. On <clears throat> McDonald's. Oh my gosh! I wish Chrono was right. What's that? You don't do a race. Don't do a racism. It'll crash your computer. Imagine if. You Imagine. Mean... How much Imagine more friendly? Imagine would live in. Imagine Twitter. Oh gosh. We imagine Twitter where, where like every time they tried to type something racist, it just fucking died. I feel like the percentage of cat memes would go up. Everyone loves a cat meme. Right? Bloody hell. That was like Jim was having an exciting time in 97. Yeah, I had to read it twice to pass it. Hmm. Yeah, 97 was McDonald's. Uh, 97 to 2... Was it 2000 or 90? It might be 97 to 99. I'd previously worked at Wimbledon McDonald's in 96. I worked for a lot of McDonald's. I applied for a lot of McDonald's's. Apparently, I just didn't have what it took. What? I used to take fucking anyone. I guess a few years of people like me and Keith, and uh, it was like, no, never again. Oh no, it was just because I my availability wasn't yes. Ah, no, your availability has to be yes. And uh, did you tick the don't treat me like shit? Uh, they didn't have that option anymore. Evidently, they learn. Burb. You're falling in a pit. Should have used the jump action. I was trying to fall in a pit. Right. This is not where I wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. Where is the burb? See, they wouldn't hide Daria either. I feel better now. Ha, ah, burp. <gasps> Spider! Shit. Spider. Oh. Yeah. 
kick the shit out of that spider horse. Spider horse, spider horse. Uh, yeah, I did a good few years at McDonald's. And then I briefly sold gas and electricity door to door. And I oh, worked that's as. really inefficient, just use pipes and wires. I worked as a runner for a little while. I worked as a trainee accountant for nearly a year. I worked as a uh, cleaner of floors in a hospital for a year. Until I had a nervous breakdown. Shortly after re for, for, after recovering from McDonald's. Uh, Rick McDonald's? Many judges. Uh, same thing. Uh, read paragraph 196 you can play. spreads its wings. Ooh. For a moment you have the impression of a face like Gandalf's, so maybe a bit younger. A voice comes from the bird speaking in the common tongue. If you have not found the elves, seek them at night on the roads leading to Green Hill Country. I did Ask them about Elbera, for her name has the power to protect you, as will the name Luthien. These have come up before. I have. Maybe. But that one you will not learn there. No, I found that one already, right at the beginning of the game. Okay. You're alright, Gandalf fish. Right, okay. Climb! The forest. Call for help in dire need. Help, help. There is a spell in here that's literally just help, help. Aww. There was a way I could find the racist man. Take me back to his cave. Uh huh. Can I walk back over here? Nope. Why? Am I miss? Up? Oh, shit! Out! Oh, bugger! Oh, okay. I've just accidentally made it full screen, which is probably completely fucked up. Everything? No, it hasn't. That's fine. I had a panic. Panic is over now. Yeah. They did move everything around on my thing. So it's not just me, it genuinely just fucking crashes. Hmm. That's a bit of an arse bump. Which is a technical term, I think you'll find. We're having so much fun with DOS games. So you're saying this is the most stable version? Yes. This is the problem of emulating though. Um, I'm tired of the music. No, not the PC internal speaker. Just off. No. Fine. There's no mouse control. There is no mouse control. Racist Norm Norman Numenorian. Nah, racist Numenorian crashes PC. Read all about it. Extra, extra. Right. Well. I was hoping to find a fucking orc. Instead, you found awkward. Awkward. I'm vaguely entertaining. You're very entertaining. Yes, but only for you. Only me? And your wife. And? My fiance. Anyone else? I haven't, I haven't entertained anyone else in quite some time. I'm not completely discounting the idea though, right? Oh, fuck no. One of these days. One of these days. Someone's gonna get such a fucking. Someone TM. Someone TM is gonna get such a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Right. Mm -hmm. You're not mean, you're lovely. I can be mean. I I am I multitude. Yes, you do. Pat pat. Ah. <laughs> You have Ender Farmer Maggot's Farm. Brings back bad memories of being chased by dogs. During boyhood, mushroom raids. Mushroom raids. Mushroom raids and mushrooms. Three huge dogs growl at you as you pass by, warning you to keep away from the bedroom. Farmer Maggot is sitting in the living room looking worried. Is that my dude? Right, dickhead. Oh no, dickhead. <laughs> uh, paragraph 24, please. Because apparently they wanted this game to be fucking unplayable. <laughs> if you didn't have the manual. Imagine that. Photocopying the fucking manual. There was a big man from foreign parts asking for Mr. Baggins. Oh. I told him to go back where he came from, double quick, or I'd set the dogs on him. Then he gave a sort of hiss. That might have been a laugh and spurred his great, great horse at me. And I jumped away only in the nick of time. After that, I found my boy in the lane and I don't know what happened to him. I was going to, I was going off to get Ayla, but I don't want to leave him. We go to the village and bring him back. It's not far and I'm very worried. He isn't waking up. <sighs> oh, shit. <clears throat> I'm now convinced that anything is going to break this fucking game, so... Save early, save often, save time. Oh, <gasps> a deconstructed Cerberus. <laughs> Is that the, the kind of Cerberus you could get at like a hipster cafe? Oh. We had a full size Cerberus, but. <laughs> Everyone was doing those. Everyone was doing those. Now you can get this one on a, on a chopping board. Yeah, we thought the we light drizzle of mayonnaise. It's core elements, you know, really. Just break it down, just simplify it, just just make it easy. But complex. How's the writing in this game? Well, I was told to go and get the healer. I walked into the healer's house and the healer was like, the look on your face, yeah. Oh, thank you for the best, Daria. Thank you, Daria. I super appreciate it. Also, that is an adorable little unicorn. They go poop and then back in. Retracticorn. Sometimes I forget what I'm supposed to like register those as because I just end up looking at them instead. Is Sorry. it the little purple tips that come bursting through the hole? What's this about tips in my hole? Tippy hole. Tippy tippy hole, tippy hole hole, tippy tippy hole. The healer crushes leaves and steaming water and bathes the wound. There is a sweet fragrance and wounds close and heal. Magic. It made him a brew. I'm a northern <laughs> I could have told you that. <laughs> uh, ingratitude farmer maggot offers you some mushrooms. Oh no. Now we're all mushrooms. Uh you there, horse. Take these mushrooms. The horse looks annoyed by you. Oh, you need your m and voice. We use only the finest, organic, free-ranged, ethically sourced, fair trade, strictly grass-fed, gluten-free, deconstructed Cerberi. These don't just any Cerberi. These are Marks and Spencer's finest Cerberi. <laughs> You've reached the Buckland Ferry where Mary Adock Brandybug Mary Oda Mary Adock Brandybug has been waiting for you. We know you are going to leave the Shire, and we intend to stay with you until the bitter end. Cheers, Mez. Now, mate, I understand you know how to row a boat. Which is handy. Because we're about to cross the fucking ferry. You are at the Buckland Ferry. Do you wish to cross here? Yeah, cheers, mate. Because I'm not going all the way up north. I'll get 
fucked about by them. Fucked about by uh, the Black Riders. You have crossed the Brandywine. The ferryman returns to the other side. Plato's potatoes. Do you want to cross back? Because that's how trigger points work in this game. <laughs> uh, oh, Magic's here. Hey, Gary. How do? On Snoke, we've just drugged his ass. The game seems a bit odd. Yeah, we drugged a horse. We gave it mushrooms, and now it's happy. A horse. It's a it's a happy horse. Uh, right. So that's there. No, I need to go up here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in. Might not be able to get in. To the Grange. Right, you're not going to let me in. Oh, yeah, you will let me in. Um, Samwise! Chat this woman up. After a long talk with Esmeralda, you point out several good reasons why you should be allowed into Brandy Hall. Even if there is a ghost. She lets you in. Hey, it's that ghost sprite from earlier. Shards of broken smoking pipes lie among the piles of mishandled library books. You need to hand those back in. A book is open on the table. Uh, where is my pipe? A ghost shouts. As you approach the shelves, the ghost pelts you with pipe shards. You cannot touch these books. Rude. You find several diaries written by adventurous hobbits who went into the old forest and a journal with the handwriting of Bilbo Baggins. Uh, they look like they would be interesting reading. But uh, we can't touch them because... There's a pipe dickhead over there. There's a pipe dickhead over there. Ah. Some items I might use. Why, what could these be? Some silver pennies. Fucking having that. Do, 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 do. And it says to not grow and feed Cerberi. They need a healthy diet of vermin filled Certia sacks. Ooh. Right. Everyone needs to look after themselves and their Cerberi proper. Oh, no. Fatty! My doggo is Shadow. She oh. shadows so many. New horse. Gains. She is a portal to the third dimension. Everything mm -hmm. in my house is orange. Rather strange thing to find in the library, isn't it? This is great. Open yourself on there. The pipe. Now I'm orange. Have you tried the master bedroom? What happens in the uh, master bedroom? Like the mistress bedroom. I, I go there sometimes. Get my first start on. Nice. <laughs> Yo, Saradoc, what do? You shouldn't be here. There's a ghost in the house. Miserable thing. You can't read with a ghost in the room. And I just found some of your uncle's books. <laughs> hmm. I haven't time for that now. No I know. Left some pipe weed lying around. Or did I? I bastard. Uh, what about pipe weed? Uh, man from the south had come to the Shire setting up store with a strange name of Sharky Shipping. Sharky, you say? Oh, I quite like Curious Take. This is just the story of Lads on a Bender. Lads on a Bender. I can't hear the, the game audio, so there's nothing you can do to convince me that they aren't just walking around consistently chanting, Lads, 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 whenever they do anything remotely good. Lads, 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 Lads. <laughs> Lads, lads, lads. I have the gate key. Didn't get the pipe. I'm sure there's a pipe around here somewhere. Did I check the master bedroom? Is that not? Is this the master bedroom? Percept. Percept. Why can't I percept? Oh, you, you Twin Peaks. Dario reckons that Frodo looks like the Red Room guy from Twin Peaks. Are we talking about the arm? She's my cousin! Why doesn't she look almost exactly like Laura Palmer? Something like that. 
Perception. Perception. Can I pick this lock? Lick pock. Ugh, I guess I'm gonna have to go and buy a pipe. Percep, percep. Percep. I'm trying to percep, but no one will let me. I okay. shouldn't. Great idea. I guess I'm gonna have to go and explore Sharky shipping. Don't rumble at me, lady. You're the one shedding on everything. But, ma'am, I don't want to get brushed. I want to be a fairy beast. Oh. Am I going to have to get the Furminator out? <gasps> I'm going to need Furminating. <laughs> Furminators are great. It's like if someone put a bread knife foot round. Sorry, dog. You're furminated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, horse does go up and downstairs, no less. Goodness. And um... this economy. <laughs> Yeah, I do think he's right. What? What? No one minds the horse. No one minds the horse. I. There is a stoned pony. Just I suppose. A stony, if you will. I suppose if four lads walked into your house with a stoned horse, you probably wouldn't, you know, want to cause a ruckus. Uh oh, she was trained by the White Council. Questionable. Oh no. Young. What? Yep. The horse walks into a bar. Yep. The horse just walked into a bar. The horse did in fact just walk into a bar. We've now got a witch with us. A horse walked into a bar. And the bartender said... What are you drinking? Lads, 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 lads. <gasps> no, it's, it's, it's Shakespeare that's barred, remember? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lads on top, ultimate pub crawl, third edge, Shire to Mardor. Right, we've done the Prancy Pony and the, the, the Green Dragon. And I think I'm, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Where the fuck is the DJ booth? Booth, booth, booth. Ins, ins, ins. Uh, 16? Oh, that's the Bucklebury Tavern. Where the fuck is Sharky shipping? It's not on the map. I'm looking for a shop. But if I go too far north, I might get fucking deaded. Okay. Somewhere around here, there's a fucking shop. It's near a landscaping and a crematorium. <laughs> no one? Anyone? Okay, thanks. I don't get it. Oh, the, the whole Trump thing at the landscaping place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was pretty hard about it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Four ages landscaping. Mm -hmm. La 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 I've got Athel Wind. Do I want anything else? Really, do I? Uh, I do. I need to find fucking Sharky Shipping. Uh, make Mordor great again. It's never that good, friend. Never that good. Uh, 
I've got the key, I could just fuck off. But I kind of want to get some pipe for that stupid fucking ghost. Okay, I give up. We're leaving. I find it quite strange that the music hasn't returned. I mean, I realise I was trying to turn it off, but... That's not the point! We're gonna build a big hedge across the old forest. And the trees are gonna pay for it. <laughs> Ooh, hey doll, dairy doll. Dairy doll, dillo. I don't remember all of my Tom Bombadil poems. You know, Tom Bombadil cut from fucking everything except this game. So you know it's good. What's a Tom Bombadil? Oh god. Uh, if you read the book... Oh, 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 I see what this is about. <laughs> if you read the book, there's uh, an entirely unnecessary self-insert character. Who's basically what if hippies, but in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> what if there was someone older than the world itself, because he created it, um, who just ran around singing songs and being a bit of a, an, a, an adorable loon, and is married to the hottest girl in the entire section of the world? A bit of a loon. He is. Tom Bombadil is a wild fucking character. Uh, do we have ghost key, ghost ruby, get key? We did it. We're in the you old forest. You didn't get ghost pipe. Do you know how cranky library ghosts going to be? Not my problem. <laughs> not my ghost. Not my pipe. <laughs> we all have escaped the Shire. But, will you ever come home? Lads, 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 lads. <laughs> this is the furthest I've ever been from the Shire. This is the furthest I've ever been from the Shire. Are you shitting me? Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> I was clicking, nothing happened. Badgy Ball just stayed behind to impersonate Frodo. Look how small that fucking hobbit hole is now. Keep the Black Riders away. Keep the Black Riders from learning the ring where the ring bearer had gone. Then, as Fatty stared alone into the gloom, a greater horror than imagined possible descended upon him. He's blinking like somebody who just caught the back end of that elf with constipation. The black shadow came through the trees and through the garden. There was a blow. You're not supposed to blow. Suck, damn it. But uh, soft, but heavy. The door shuddered. Oh, I'll do it again. Open in the name of Mordor, said the voice, thin and menacing. In, in no way like the voice I just did. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> 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 the fucking graphic. <laughs> hey, future fishy. Uh, I think Fatty just got his ring inspected. <laughs> the Black Riders broke down the door with a second blow. <laughs> the was just like, harder, Daddy. Uh, step on me now. Uh, only to find the house was empty. Fatty Bulger fled for his life, sounding a distress call with his horn. <laughs> what? He's, he's, he's sounding off his horn. <laughs> uh, that had, that, they had not been heard for centuries. Awake, fear, fire, foes, awake! Black Riders rode like a gale to the north gate. Uh, let the little people blow their horns. Or each other's. 
Sauron would deal with them later. Meanwhile, they had another errand. They knew now the house was empty and the ring had gone. They rode down the guards at the gate and vanished from the Shire. And so Sauron pursued his ring. <laughs> with the most powerful weapons <laughs> he had at his disposal. <laughs> Sauron has powerful tools. Mm. Sauron's got powerful tools. He's got such a large weaponry. And Gandalf, mysteriously missing, and death seemingly at every turn, the company pressed the ring. Didn't just didn't go into the ring, just felt around the outside of it. Just, just teasing it. Just just around them. Into the unknown, and then they plunged in. Into dark danger. <laughs> lube, friends. Get some lube. <sighs> Music's back on the menu, everyone. Now, shall I get lost in here and get attacked by a uh. <laughs> oh great, mouse control's fucked. <laughs> I can. Oh god. Right. Please correct the fucking. No, mouse is fucked. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Darius, let's imagine if you didn't read the books and this is how you first experienced the story. Right. Oh gosh. Getting your ring fingered. Hey. Mr. Fruity's fingering his ring. He loves that. He loves his ring being fingered. Oh lord! Who please? Right, there we go, mouse is back. I could spend hours and hours and hours wandering around this fucking forest. Being attacked by Black Alder and fuck knows what else. Black Alder's an angry tree that will fucking eat you. Uh, because in the books, um... <laughs> There's a whole thing in the books where they're just wandering through the old forest. They get enchanted by this fucking siren tree and wake up like being half eaten by the damn thing. On a tall tree branch, a brown bird is crying piteously. It seems to have been tied to the branch by some cruel creature and cannot escape. So, fun fact, there was supposed to be like a whole set of missions involving uh, finding all of these birds that have vague references to Gandalf. Uh, you only need to find like one or two of them to make this really cool ending where all the birds attack the Nazgul. Oh, yeah, because. Where did. Lord of the Rings, Volume 1, where do you think it ends? Have I lost her? I've lost her. Fuck. Girlfriend! 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 Um, yeah, where do you reckon Lord of the Rings Volume 1 fucking ends? Um, several thousand pages in. Not quite that bad, but yeah. It took me eight months to read um, the the uh, Fellowship of the Ring the first time I tried. It's just getting through this bit where it's all walking and trees and isn't that a nice fucking tree? Alright, John. Calm your titties. You like trees, we get it. Titties! Titties! Ooh. Nuzzle on him. Nuzzle on them titties. 
Ah, the Test of the Durbervilles experience. I've not read Test of the Durbervilles. Is it similarly afflicted? <sighs> a bridge? This is a bridge too far. Too far? It's 80% trees. Yeah. yeah. Classic authors, they fucking love it. I find something that I can use. What if I was a horse? What if you served it? Uh, dwarf what? Wicked. Yeah, do you want to smoke some of this dwarf what? Yeah, it's good. Are you getting the horse high again? Hey, look. If I want to get on my high horse, I will get on my high horse. Oh my god, I just walked into that with my pants down, didn't I? <laughs> yup. Lubed up, bent over, spread open. You were so ready. <laughs> you were so ready to get for me to get on my high horse. Boo. You settle down to converse with Bombadil. Tom explains that he is the eldest. He existed before the trees, the rain, the elves, and even the Dark Lord. He then asks you to hand him the ring. Are you going to let him handle your ring? I'm going to let him handle my ring. I never know when you're going to change voices or when you want me to talk. Uh, Tom, oh, I wanted you to talk, but you didn't, so I just did sexy voice. Um, Tom puts it on his finger and smiles. You gasp, he didn't disappear. Tom laughs, spin the ring, spins the ring in the air, and it vanishes. Then he smiles and hands it back to you, back to the ring bearer. Is it the same ring? Because at this point, like, we know he does magic tricks. Has he just fucked the ring off? Ah, I'll deal with that. It's not for you, hobbity, fo hobbity folks. Cheers, Bombi. Right. Go for a nap. You're tired from the day's ordeal. Do you wish to sleep? Yes, please. Read paragraph 123. We are not farther in the story than our diary got into the book. Oh, we are now. Wow. Well done. Yeah, that whole stuff walking through the old forest is hard. The ring bearer has a dream. He sees a small brown bird. <laughs> Wing its way to a great eagle's area. Ooh. Amid thunder clashes, the eagle flies to a great tower within a circle, sweeping down and bearing away a white haired man. Mm. Say, Angmar to the stone apart, he cries. Angmar to the stone apart? Remember that, we'll need it right at the end of the fucking game. What? No. Yep. What? Yeah, no. At the, at, in like the very last chapter of this game. You fuck off to Dol Guldur, get lost in a, a maze with Gollum, and then end up, uh, you, you find a standing stone on its own. And if you shout Angmar at it, it'll let you in. It's the secret entrance to Dol Guldur, which is considerably safer than walking in the front door. I feel like this game asks a lot. Mm-hmm. This is why you needed to take fucking notes. Uh, paragraph 179, see if we play. It's Goldberry. She's a hot air. Um, uh, I think it's, um... Tom's wife, the beautiful Goldberry, is here. She is lying on a bed, ill. Beside her, a blackened willow leaf floats in a bowl of stinking water. Mm. Stink. My lilies, she whispers. My special fool lies south of this house. Please, bring me lilies. Take this token and whatever you may need from this house. She offers you her token, a gold leaf, pasted against oak bark. Old woman wants lily of the valley. <laughs> <laughs> right, what we got? Gold token. Right, let us GB. We got a gold token, let's fuck off. Uh, there we go. I got stuck on the stairs for a while. Always concerning. Endlessly saving. Right.
Pets alike. It does not yield anything. Rub the thing on it. Rub. Rub it. Rub the thing. Uh, fucking. River runs into wall somewhere. There we go. To the river. To the wall. What? The rhythm, the rebel. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, behind it, this shimmering curtain of water, uh, falling water, a tunnel leads into the darkness. It's an underground lake. And there's something here I might use. I might use, but will I? It's a spider sword. It's a small enough sword that even Frodo can use it. Oof. Yeah, baby. I got a sword. You got a sword. A spit I got a, sword. A tiny spit sword. Nobody tell a rack now. Nobody tell a rack now about all the spider murder we have done on this day. Yeah. So this is one of the puzzles that, in the CD enhanced version, is just fucking broken. Can't be done. Uh, I need something to get through here. Oh, I need something. Just drugs, you fed them all to the horse. Oh, um, Atherwim, have you got counter magic? <laughs> Such excitable music. Uh, Perception, eh? Embedded in the wall is a staff of ice waiting for someone to take it. Right, so just a thing. To get through that wall, you need counter magic. You can only get counter magic if you picked up Athelwyn, who's a character who's not even supposed to be in the game. Unless you are literally walking around trying to recruit everyone you meet, no way of knowing that she'll join your party. Because why would she? Like, most of the people you meet in this game are never going to join you. But she's like, yeah, I'll come with you. All right, it's an afternoon, isn't it? Right. And the fact that she said she was sent by the White Council implies she's part of um, fucking um, Saruman's lot anyway. Concerning. Especially if you know the story already. You have to bring her here. You think to use counter magic on this wall of ice. Oh, alternatively, you can walk all the way back from Rivendell with Gandalf to use Firefinger on that wall and have the same effect. Um, to get an ice rod that's buried in, the, in that room, the ice rod makes one floor in, in Moria, which is entirely made of lava, so that you can walk on it. And I think most of the puzzle that involves that is broken. This game is bad shit. Also in the uh, the CD enhanced version, this sprite facing completely the wrong direction. Uh, paragraph 156. Are you saying why wouldn't you want to join the lads, 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 lads? I'm now just thinking of that Ox Venture episode. Upon the throne is a being that resembles a human sculpture made out of mud from a riverbank. This is mighty Withywindle, the spirit of the river. She says in a slow, deep voice, I know of you and your quest, yet who bids you to take lilies from my secret place? The yeah. end. Show me a token so I may understand. A token? Rub the golden leaf on her. Right, rub gold leaf on her. Axe, shovel, key, gold token. Uh, 57, please. Vajazzle her. Vajazzle the withy window. <laughs> Alas, the old river spirit cries as great muddy tears roll down her cheeks. <laughs> 
I may not honor your request. Magic deeper than my silty bed forbids it till spring. She's got silty, silty bed. beds. Silty bed, lads. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Looks west. like silty bed's back on the menu. Go, go on. <laughs> Are you done? Okay, go. Magic deeper than my silty bed forbids it till spring again touches my banks. Wow, wow. But there is a way. Go to Ruddy Oak. Take to him a red acorn. Ask for the spring stone. Oh my god. She does want a full fucking vajazzle, don't she? She wants a full vajazzle. And I've got to find. I'm not. Oh, I've got to find Ruddy Oak. And avoid Black Elder at the same time. And find some red acorns. <sighs> I mean, we could just let Goldberry die. Hmm? Just let Goldberry die. Don't actually, uh. Actually need something. It's just that I fear if. I fuck this up. I'm gonna end up dead for a start. Um, yeah. Don't do that. Right, somewhere around here there is an tree that will give me red acorns. Oh god, and it's a barrow. Wicked. An old stone slab. Right. I don't have a pry bar yet, because I've not been shopping. Um <gasps> Tether's right, silty beds does sound like a dusty thing. Silty beds. I bet Dusty has got a silty bed. I mean if if someone gets too wet and yeah, that's that's probably it. Dusty having a wet night, you know. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. All these silty beds. Taking Bromara back to your salty bed. Oh god. Are you a good one or a bad one? Say it like it. It's Ruddy Oak. Hi. Slow Creek would not send you unprepared. Give it to me, and you may have aid of Radio Oak if you so wish. I don't have it. She did send me unprepared. <laughs> fucking rivers. You know how rivers. Oh, it's on top of the fucking. Okay. I, I think I've remembered where the thing is. Now I have to just not get eaten by Black Alder. Woo! Yeah, don't, don't get eaten by that. You're See, not for snacking. The thing is, they use the same sprite for both of them. So it's like, it's, am I going to get attacked by the bad tree? Or am I okay? Do I still have the climb skill activated? Whomst can say? There we go. Right. Percept. Something you can use. Uh, Sam, grab, 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 grab some uh, and red acorn. I only need one. So there's only two episodes until I get to tell everyone something really exciting about Polly Aubrey. <laughs> returning character. I'm very excited. Beloved returning character. E. Oh, I don't dare say anything. I'm too excited. I don't want to start talking and regret. Regrets. Regrets. No regrets. Oh, I was excited for Lactone. Well, you'll get to Lactone eventually. Yeah, maybe not this year. 
Maybe not this year. Oh, no. I mean, you're heading back that way, so... Yeah. They, uh, yeah. As you may have noticed, they buggered off out of the Underdark, basically ignoring Mordtown. Because there was no, there was no good reason to go there. Like, as much as I was like, new season, let's revisit all of the people before we head off. Uh, like, I would have liked to do stuff with, um, Castle Twilight and, like, um, Vendirac and, like, um, Kelly Ganley. Would have been good. Would have been good. Uh, but we will encounter some lovely characters. We will encounter a, a much beloved character soon. In like two episodes time. I'm very fucking hype. Yes. Uh, you gonna... Uh oh. I've got Radioka, I don't know why. <laughs> Look at that! Like it, lads! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, I'm a fucking tree! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm a tree! Radioka will go no further. Uh, give us a pony. A red acorn. Um, uh, mm. I don't know what to do. Can I get him back? It's just a case of he will only go in the places I tell him. Or have uh, I just fucking lost him now? I've just lost him now. Runny Oak has gone now. No more oh. running out. No more runny oaks. No more runny yokes. Ah. It's a runny yolk. Right. Um. Right then. I don't have a map for this bit. That is one thing, good thing about the CD Enhanced version. Also mapping. Oh god, standing stones. Fuck. Lick it. Lick it. Nope. Nope. Serve. No, no standing... Lick it. No standing stones. More standing stones. That it was a lightweight. Did not last on the night out with the lads. Lads, lads, lads. Uh, do I want to investigate any of the barrows? Not really. Do, 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 do. I mean, one shouldn't go grave robbing, right? I mean, it's frowned upon. Especially when you're a fucking hobbit. Like, yeah, are you, you going to fight Barrow White? Probably not the best idea, right? Bit of grave robbing, lads. Lads, lads, lads. <laughs> What place is this? Oh, swarthy men. Pippin. Snake. Sneaking guns. Uh oh, it's fucking daytime. Wreck their ship. Wreck their ship. Wreck their ship. I don't want to wreck their ship. Wreck it. Then snack. Oh my god. Snack. Right, I have snucked. Now do I perceive? Nope. Can't do it. Don't care. Oh, they can all wander around, huh? They can just wander around in that house. They don't have to sneak, it's just me. 
Sneakest. Sneakest. It is sneakest. Ah, Sharky Shipping. I remember several years ago that being mentioned. Yes. Hi, Amagon. Hi, Amagon. How do? I can get a pry bar. Oh, I could use my shovel. Bollocks. I can get a white hand and some rope. Um, is this horny again? Maybe. If you sit on your hand and then... Yeah? Then what? I don't know, but that's how you get a really pale hand. And then you get the rope. Right, and you tie it around, and then you've got... You, you, it just drops off and you've got a white hand. Oh, right. If you sit on your hand for a while make it go white, you get the rope, and then you can have, like, a really good ghost hand choke wank. Ghost hand choke wank. Oh, bye, Cal. Thanks for coming. Bye. I got a pry bar. Oh god, I've got to be really careful about which rooms I go in here down here. No one's alone down there. What if? What if? Hey, look over there. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> it did work. I'm down. Ships sharkily. Found a locked chest. Shit. Shit. Find oh, something you can use. What the fuck is it? Rations and silver pennies. We've got 133 pennies. <gasps> that more than makes up for the shit we just bought. Uh, we should probably wrap up, because it's after ten. It's after ten. It's after ten. It's after ten. It is not early. It's after ten. It's after Pure ten. Magic says that they love the idea of the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy just being a drunken misunderstanding and belligerence episode. Everywhere yeah. was fine until the pissed up hobbits came crashing through, causing international incidents, full on wars, in their work, culminating in the death of a respected head of state. Here is fucking second breakfast, you that all cunt. Lads, lads, lads. There's a large office with a big orc. So close to the Shire, sitting in a chair, he is asleep. Mind his own fucking business. Hey, come on, lads. Lads, lads. Oh, he starts awake just as I was trying to save. Uh, I don't think Mary's got a weapon. Yo, Shut Atherwin. Look at that orc! <laughs> <gasps> what the bloody hell? Look at this shaggy friend! Oh, Look fuck, it's an Eric. Look at this shaggy friend. Go on, high horse, you got this. Ah, uh, so now I can't fucking see. Oh, I'm gonna get these orcs, there's just one. Ah, uh, you'll tell me anything. Where's my cloak room second? <laughs> I can see forever! That orc is wearing the expression of someone that's looking at you like you've just said someone something stupid. Maybe I did. I'm choosing to believe you've just said something stupid and they're just... They don't want to seem impolite, but they've got nothing besides... What? Who fucking what? See, they've got a blush on. They're embarrassed to be seen with you. Who isn't these days? I am proud to be seen with you. They do look like a dark crystal character. Two points of damage. It would have cost me that much in health to have used the fucking spell. 
Ugh. Did I hit my pony for five points of damage? What a bastard. What a bastard. That's your pony. And now it's like like almost half health. Now it's it's been slapped about a bit. I killed the orc. You killed the orc. Anything on the desk? You find something you can use. Wicked. A rusty key. For years that was my password. Because of this fucking game. I used to have lots of key based passwords. So if you ever want to break into my MySpace, <laughs> might just be able to do it. Frodo! Mary, Torch. Equip the Torch. Right, we're done here. Tell us where we can find you on the internet. I can be found as at Becky Tootle on Twitter. On Twitter? Uh, are you going to tell people about where they can see Podquisition Animated? That amazing animated show that you do. I mean, it's fine. TM. And it's on Curiosity Epidemic on YouTube. <sighs> What's on your YouTube? This. Vods of this. Vods of this and that podcast. Vods of this. Uh, yeah, we have Queer and Pleasant skit episodes. You can listen to uh, just the just the skits from like three-year-old episodes of Polly. Uh, of Polly. Uh, Queer and Pleasant Strangers. Because the stories are mostly irrelevant now. And the sound is shite. But the jokes are funny. Jokes are funny, still. The, the jokes have aged well. The sound quality of my editing back in the day has not. Oh. I've got better. Like, I've got better even from the beginning of the series. I'm thinking I'm up to, like, episode 17 now? Like, it's way less offensive. It's still loud, but it's, like, it, it can be levelled. It's not clipping all the time. At the beginning, I thought louder better because I always had shit headphones, and I was like, "Well, you might want to make sure the, the the sound big so that even people with cheap headphones will be able to hear it properly." As opposed to the number of fucking podcasts where I go, uh, "I'm on max volume on my podcast thing, and it, it won't play any louder, and I still can't pr fucking hear it properly." Yeah, that was my thinking. Didn't help. Just made it clip a lot. Um, thank you very much for coming, everyone. I have t-shirts and stuff, and I have uh, all sorts of things. You can head over to my Patreon. It's Stoned Monkey Radio, like at the top here. Um, Patreon.com slash Stoned Monkey Radio, all one word. Uh, for as little as a dollar a month, you can help me justify a 75 to 80 hour work week. For $10 a month, you can get early access to Queer and Pleasant Strangers. And you know what? I might... If people would be interested in early access to, to Polyarmory, I might consider that. Might be waiting a long time between episodes sometimes. But you will get them as early as possible. I mean, to consider if that's something people would be interested in. Who knows? Um, I'm sure I say other things. Remind me of other things. PayPal? I've got a PayPal. PayPal.me slash Magnet. if you want to help with that. Here are the credits for the month of November. I hope I've done this correctly. Probably. PM. This is as of everyone who was charged at the first of the month. I feel like that's missing someone. That's October. Wait, that's... Ah! Why? Foiled again. I was literally... I was tinfoiled again. Foiled by your own decision making. Right. That's the worst kind of foil. You can't even blame other people for it. Well, the thing is, like, that file doesn't exist anymore. Oh god, we're seeing ghosts. Yes. We're seeing the ghosts of last year. Month. Ghost of Patreon's past. 
Hey, they change. Hey, change. There we go. I got the overlay and everything. Yay! There you go. I did it. I did the whole thing. Did it. I 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 did it. Yeah, they're still belated spooping us. Oh no. Um, I don't. Eat them. Uh, it, it's it's an early access to the secret link to um. My SoundCloud, because I just uploaded it to the SoundCloud as to be scheduled. And then anyone with a link can, can load it on SoundCloud. Uh, there is also, um, you can also download it from SoundCloud early if you want, uh, because I make sure all of the stuff is downloadable. So if you have early access, and if you're having trouble, you can just message me and I'll send you like a, a, a docs, a Google Docs, uh, a Google Drive link to it. You deserve it. You've paid for it. If you so desire. Uh, I'm not sacrificing sexy potatoes. The potato cult. <laughs> the potato cult were a very different thing. You may or may not know what the pun is there yet. I'm not doing spoilers. Anyway, I think that's everything. I'm sleepy. <sighs> Sleep. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you again sometime. Ah! Thank you. Um, bye. bye. Nailed it. They, 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 they can still hear us. They, they can still hear us. They can still hear us. They can still hear us. Shit. Just having them walk out where we've come to money. I'm telling you. They're all good. They're all good. They're all awesome. They're special. I tated. I hope you spelled that correctly. I did. It's the right person. It's a